Are you sick and tired of the partisan political plague that's infected our nation's capital and is now spreading and poisoning the rest of the country? Well, so is my next guest. He wants to keep politics out of policy. He is a libertarian candidate for Congress who's using old school campaign tactics, going door to door and actually talking to people to share his fresh, independent ideas with me now. Pennsylvania congressional candidate Tim Silfies, who also used to be the senior producer of this very program. That is true. Um, so, Tim, you were a senior producer for John Stossel. And obviously those ideas of liberty uh, steeped into your, or seeped in rather, to your very soul. How do you go from being a TV producer and then a TV reporter in the Lehigh Valley, or however you say it. Lehigh. Lehigh, that's it. I like Lehigh. To becoming a U.S. congressional candidate. So, yeah, when I left here, I went to be a reporter and I spent a lot of time talking to people, entrepreneurs. I was a business reporter. Mm -hmm. So I saw directly in our community where I grew up and where I live in Pennsylvania, I saw the way that government can hurt people and the way it can hold people back. So I just decided, you know, I kept, kept hearing over and over people talking how they wanted choices that weren't Democrats and Republicans. So yeah. I figured I'd give them one. Now, it's interesting because some of the progressive candidates who have won these uh, surprise primaries, they're using the same tactic, which is the old tried and true door to door method. Mm -hmm. A lot of candidates don't want to do that, especially these lazy millennials. Uh, they just want to run a digital campaign and maybe say something stupid that goes viral. But you're actually going out and talking to people. Do you have a shot? Absolutely. Thousands and thousands of doors I have knocked on at this point. Yep. And I hear common refrains. I've got supporting me now, Democrats, Republicans, independents, libertarians, because there is this common strain you're talking about mm -hmm. where we saw it with Trump, but then we see with Ocasio-Cortez. We see these people across the spectrum are disgusted right now with both sides. Yeah. And I get people, when I go to doors, people, when I tell them I'm running for Congress, oftentimes they tense up, but then they sort of, when I say, look, I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, I just want to talk to you. And they go, oh, OK. And we talk. And they're just appreciative to have someone listening to them. That's what it comes down to. Is the Libertarian Party uh, backing your campaign? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm nominated by the Libertarian Party. And, they're, and I, look, I am fighting as hard as I can to win. Mm -hmm. And that's what, I, that's what I plan on doing. If I, it, look, this is absolutely possible. I'm telling you, look at this Kavanaugh situation. The establishment at this point that sad fiasco in Washington mm -hmm. is the embodiment of why we need something different than these two parties. Yeah. They took, look, at, look at that situation. They took some people's lives, regular people, and they ruined their lives. Why? Just to increase their own power. Yes, and to prove they're on one side or the other. And, and that's yeah. what it's all about. I mean, this bifurcation is paralyzing. And they want us to do that, too. They want the polarization. Yeah. They want us to fight. They want this deepening culture war, this deepening, almost cold civil war we yeah. have. Because the more we fight... Oh, that's a good phrase. Have you used that before, the cold civil war? I think I've heard it somewhere. Do you have an I... impression of John Stossel? <laughs> you know, when John and I... Uh, my, John and I once were working on a piece together. Mm -hmm. And he looked at me. He just paused it and he looked at me and he said, I hate government. <laughs> And then he just hit play, and that was it. He didn't even say anything else. That's the best story ever. And I just said, I hate government too, John. <laughs> and you're making the world better. Uh, I do hope you win your seat. Thank you. Because you're a great person, and you, you really adhere to these ideas, and you care deeply about the people you wish to serve. I wish there were more people like you in government. Tim Selfies, thank you.